Hello and welcome to Commenter. In this video, we are going to learn a very important trick which will help you in deducing the shapes of molecules in very short time. Suppose you are given this species ClO3 minus. You have been asked to find out hybridization of chlorine here and the shape of this species. In order to solve this problem in very short time, this approach should be followed. First, you have to identify the central atom. In the given species, the central atom is chlorine. Next, we have to see the total number of valence electrons present on the central atom. Chlorine belongs to group 17 and it does have 7 electrons in its valence shell. So those 7 electrons we are going to write as 7x. Then we have to form bonds sigma or pi with the surrounding atoms. The surrounding atoms in the species are three oxygen atoms. So valency of oxygen atom is two. So each oxygen atom will form two bonds. Three bonds. Okay. And here it will form one pi, one sigma. We know that double bonded oxygen forms 1 pi and 1 sigma. So similarly, it will form 1 pi here and 1 sigma here. 1 pi, 1 sigma. And if you see carefully, we have one negative charge. For this negative charge, we are going to add one more electron here. And these two making one lone pair. And now, you calculate how many sigma bonds we have and how many lone pairs we have. We have 1, 2, 3. 3 sigma and we have 1 lone pair. So the summation gives us 4 and it corresponds to sp3 hybridization. Meaning if the summation of sigma and lone pairs comes out to be 4, it corresponds to sp3 hybridization. For sp3 hybridization, we have four possibilities. It can be either tetrahedral or pyramidal or band or linear, depending upon number of lone pairs present in the species. We have one lone pair. So sp3 with one lone pair will be pyramidal in shape. So the hybridization of Cl in this species is sp3 and shape is pyramidal. Let's take another species. Cl F4 plus. Chlorine is the central atom. It has seven electrons in the valence shell. And it has four fluorine atoms in the surroundings, forming four sigma bonds. And if you observe carefully, there is one positive charge. Because of one positive charge, this electron will be removed. Now we have one lone pair. Now let's calculate how many sigma bonds we have, how many lone bond, uh, lone pairs we have. We have four sigma and we have one lone pair. That is five. And summation of sigma and lone pairs giving five corresponds to sp3 dehybridization. SP3 dehybridization has four possibilities. Either it can be trigonal, bipyramidal, or CISO, or 
T-shaped or linear. Since we have one lone pair, SP3T with one lone pair will have CISO shape. So is hybridization is sp3 d and the shape of this molecule is c so so very easily we could find this too now let, let's take another example hto plus this hydronium ion the central atom here is oxygen oxygen has six valence electrons so we are going to put six x one two three four five six okay and we have three hydrogen atoms hydrogen valence is one so single single bonds okay there is one positive charge over oxygen so this electron is getting removed because of positive charge and we have now three sigma bonds one lone pair sigma bonds three lone pair one so it is for or this is this corresponds to sp3 hybridization sp3 hybridization with one lone pair is pyramidal so hydronium ion will have pyramidal shape it is similar to that of ammonia let's take another species i f 7 what is the uh, hybridization of iodine and what is the molecular shape of this species central atom is iodine iodine has seven valence electrons in the outermost shell we are going to put seven x and then there are seven fluorine atoms each fluorine atom has valency one so one bonds okay now let's count the number of sigma bonds and lone pair we have seven sigma bonds and we have zero lone pair so summation gives us seven summation of sigma and lone pair giving seven means it is sp3 d3 hybridization and sp3 d3 hybridization with zero lone pair corresponds to pentagonal pi pyramidal so iodine has hybridization sp3 d3 because it has seven summation and the molecular shape is pentagonal by pyramidal now let's take the species pcl5 phosphorus is the central atom here and it has five valence electrons one two three four five five chlorine atoms are bonded each chlorine atom has valency one so forming five sigma bonds so summation of sigma and lone pair five plus zero five this corresponds to sp3 d hybridization sp3 dehybridization with zero lone pair with zero lone pair has trigonal bipyramidal shape so phosphorus has hybridization sp3 d and the molecular shape of pcl5 is trigonal bipyramidal let's draw the structure of trigonal bipyramidal geometry phosphorus atom at the center this four atoms are in one plane one phosphorus atom will be top of it one will be behind of that 
since in two dimensional um, board I cannot draw bond like this so I'll be putting this bond is like this one has fallen over here and there is another bond behind so I'm writing like this CL CL so this is trigonal bipyramidal why bipyramidal is like uh, this is triangle one pyramid that's another pyramid so two pyramids are there trigonal bipyramidal and one very important thing has to be noted here is that the PCL bonds bond lengths are elongated then PCL axial bonds it is because of repulsion see these three chlorines are in one plane this chlorine is over here and it is suffering 90 degree repulsions from three chlorines so in order to reduce the repulsion the bond length gets elongated hope this video was helpful to you uh, one more video will be uploaded uh, regarding hybridization and finding molecular shapes in details in PPT. Thank you.